<coughs> there should be no testing outside of their, their server locations, and uh, I'm going to stop the noise. And that was City of North Tonawanda Common Council President Bob Pecoraro three weeks ago. Well, responding to our questions about a noise issue at the cryptocurrency facility on Erie Avenue. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Despite that statement, the noise is still impacting neighbors and they tell us not much has changed. So we sent two on your sides, Rob Hackford, to ask tough questions about what is actually being done. It's that whistling, that howling, and it's nonstop. The noise coming from the DigiHost cryptocurrency facility has not stopped for weeks. Yeah, this is 24-7. Caused by fans used to cool these computer containers on the property. We watched back DigiHost's presentation last August and noise was never mentioned. Although the company did agree to abide by noise regulations, neighbors had to ask questions. But to this day, they feel like their concerns have taken a back seat. They were front and center, however, at Tuesday's Common Council meeting. I think they have to do some investigating. This was like pushed through with no public input or inquiry as to what the public wanted. So you think that building those burns is going to stop the not, noise up high? Not stop. Lessen the noise? Lessen. That voice in the background was Council President Bob Pecorero. He explained that DigiHost is now looking to build a large berm around the plant to dampen the noise, which will need the city's approval. They should be um, through with their testing as quickly as possible so we can get to where the sound abatement issues that they're going to explore come in. North Tonawanda Mayor Austin Tylick added that the company has also hired an acoustic engineer, which was mentioned three weeks ago. We pressed Pecorero on a timeline. He said DigiHost told them at this point two to four weeks. Looking back again when this discussion was brought up last year, you know, do you have regrets that these weren't things that were addressed at the time? Well, if you looked at my letter to the editor in the Buffalo News, I stated at the bottom that no sound will leave the compound and I am committed to that. But sound is still leaving the compound, and we have not heard from DigiHost for several weeks, but we'll continue reaching out. We did file a formal Freedom of Information Law request with the city as well, hoping to get any other info about this project, and we'll continue to keep you updated. In the studio, Rob Hack for Channel 2 News.